we have called members of parliament, people who contested for members of parliament, and those who contested for city chairpersons and other positions that are contested, so that we can harmonize the campaign programs. According to Electoral Commission, on 9th November 2020, campaigns for members of parliament and city mayors will kick off. It's on this cause that aspirants, both mayors and members of parliament, yesterday hold a meeting to harmonize campaign programs and guidelines that will be followed. According to Mugen James, the returning officer for the Porto Tourism City, say that two candidates cannot be in the same place at the same time campaigning for the same position. That's why we are calling them to agree on who will be where at what time to avoid conflict and collision of supporters which may result affecting cadets and supporters. So to avoid that, we are harmonizing the campaign program and the, the people are agreeing who will be where at what time. Secondly, we are re-emphasizing the standard operating procedures as issued by the Ministry of Health. Mr. Mgeni also added that more emphasis is being put on observation of SOPs as issued by Ministry of Health because campaigns are supposed to be scientific, but there are places where it cannot work and the Electoral Commission guided that if they are to meet people, they should not exceed 70 and observation of SOPs must be paramount. There are some places which are too big eh? and if you have your public address system and in a playground they can allow us to hold a big crowd as long as they are observing social distancing. Mr Mgeni also added that campaigning, campaigning time is from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and all these are according to the law. It's cost effective to have a short period especially for those who have been in their community, helping their people and interacting with them. 